All right, hi guys, welcome back to West Side Story. I cannot see my screen at all, so I hope you guys can see me. Uh, we're gonna be working on the F-150 again today. So this one, uh, for those of you that aren't familiar with my channel, it's a 4.9 liter um, F-150. It's the XL edition, four by four manual with the manual lock-in hubs all right all that's kind of just repeat every episode but it is a good looking truck still for 95 um so basically i'm having an engine loping problem um so today i am going to be replacing the um ignition control module so i'll give you a better shot of what that looks like and everything here in just a little bit it's a gorgeous day out here uh i don't know 65 almost 70 degrees i'm sure um so all right um just hold up and we'll get the the hood popped on her and see what we can do all right so here we go we got the 4.9 liter 300 straight six one of the best engines Ford's made of course that's an opinion so it is what it is but if we look over here see that um, this right here that uh, is the ignition control module and it does have a heat sink on it so I'm gonna take the heat sink off the fender well pull that out unplug it um, and we'll see what's going on I'll tell you what size sockets and stuff we need as we go. All right, so let's see if I can get a good shot of this. All right, so there's a bolt right here. I don't know we, how well you guys can see that. There's one right there, and there's one down here. All right, hopefully you guys can see them. They are going to be eight millimeter all right that's going to be eight millimeter again hopefully you guys can see them i'm going to try to get a better angle just to make sure so bear with me here all right so now i'm up in the truck so let's see guys all right all right that one right there is an eight millimeter as well as let's see there's one right behind that cable well it's under there guys I can't get a good shot of it it is literally right there right there where are my fingers pointing it's right there it's also an eight millimeter all right right under that heat sink so all right I'm gonna get off this truck oh my goodness see <laughs> Um, up in this beast of a truck one thing about it these are pretty big trucks i mean i'm six foot tall and still have to uh step up in the uh <laughs> the engine bay to get to stuff so all right let's get this uh heat sink off and we'll see what check it out and see what it looks like all right so as you can see down here i don't know if you can see it it's just easier for me to not get on the truck oh my goodness all right hopefully you guys can see that I got this loose all right right there it is in my hand so I'm gonna undo that plug and I'm gonna pull it out of there all right there we go so now that it's out of the truck you can see it a little better it actually goes in like that see there was that bolt up here and the bolt right in the middle on the bottom of it all right, and these are just eight millimeter bolts. All right, just use my little ratchet there. All right, and so it looks like it is attached in here. Let me find out what size those are, and I'll be right back. All right, so I got it out, got it apart. Uh, these little guys right here was seven thirty seconds is what those were 
so that way you guys will know about that at first i was worried i didn't have anything that would fit down in there but the 730 seconds uh socket just happens to do that so all right and as you look i'm gonna actually part clean this uh heat sink because it is fairly dirty i just want to put it back uh clean and let's see we'll look at my part here so there's the part number this again is the 1995 ford f-150 4.9 liter all right so that's the part number for my truck and this is the ignition control module so oh let's see pardon the video right now let's pull that out and see what it looks like so all right there's the new one let's see all right and we'll flip it this way all right and everything looks uh, copacetic so all right i'm gonna get some um uh, brake cleaner or something like that and spray this off make sure that's nice and clean before i put it on there and then i also want to find out what i can use for the uh, contact grease right here for the heat sink because that's what that's for so all right just stay stay tuned i'll be right back with you guys all right guys, so uh, after looking it up, and this does need a thermal paste or a heat sink compound on it, I looked it up and you apparently can use toothpaste. So that's what I'm gonna be using. So, all right. All right, so I don't think it matters what kind, so I'm just gonna use this close up. And I'm gonna put it on here as well as over there in my fender well. So that way it'll dissipate some heat. All right, guys, so I got the ignition control module put back on. You can kind of see the toothpaste coming out. So I did actually use toothpaste for that. And over there, if you can see that, I don't know if you can. I did put some toothpaste on the fender itself to help this heat sink uh, do its job. So now I'm going to put it back on the fender well, hook it up, and we'll see what happens. All right, guys, there it is back in there. Again, I use toothpaste as the thermal paste. Uh, this is the ignition control module back in the heat sink in the truck. So, moment of truth. I'm going to jump in here, fire her up, and we'll see how she runs. All right, just like anything, when you replace something electronic, you do want to take your battery loose. Go ahead and let it sit for a few minutes, and everything will reset for you. All right guys, so here we go, we're running. That's the initial control module reinstall and I still got this loping issue. If anybody knows what's going on with it, let me know. All right, if you guys like this video, of course, uh, smash that like button, uh, subscribe, send it to your friends if it'll help them. Whatever, that's it for the West Side Story today, bud. What do you think of that? Huh?